everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn some wicked cool stuff. We are going to learn how to submit forms with Ajax. So, right now I just have a basic form on my local host called form.jsp. And when you, sub when you uh, submit this form, let's just say I said something like Chris Carrington and I said, wow, this is a cool form. So, a very basic form that we have here. When I click Submit Query, you will see that we are taken to a new page that says Submit Form. So this is not with Ajax, but you will see the form works because here in my database, if I browse this, I will see Chris Carrington. Wow, this is a cool form. So, the form works and it does the submission, but it takes us to a new page and then the user has to go back a page and the stuff is still there. So what we are going to learn in this tutorial is how to just change the title of this and say something like, thank you for submitting the form, clear out the form, and all of a sudden it's just sent somewhere so that we don't have to take the user to another page. So one prerequisite for this tutorial is you're going to have to already have a form that's made that already does the submission that you want. Um, it's a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial to teach you guys how to make forms and have it submit to a database. That's in a completely different tutorial series. So if you don't know how to do that, go to that playlist. But this is just for people who have a form that's already made on their um, site, and but it's taking them to another page and they want to learn how to submit it with Ajax. And the other thing I want to point out is this can be done with PHP users or Java users with JSPs. It does not matter because I'm not going to be going into Java code or PHP code. This is all done with JavaScript and Ajax. So no matter which kind of platform you like to use, it does not matter. So I have a very quick um, demonstration of when you can can use um, forms with Ajax and just how cool it can be. So if you guys look on my um, homepage here, you will see that I have uh, featured tutorials here. So I have four of my featured tutorials that a lot of people seem to like. And then I have some of uh, the most recent tutorials over here, a simple welcome message, and then some um, popular categories. But let's get to the forms. Let's say if you click one of the videos, you will be taken to that video page and I have a comment section here and as you can see I just have one comment on this video that I just did for all intents and purposes of this video and you will see that I really just copied and pasted this right here so I wasn't that creative but let me show you what happens when you can utilize a form that submits with Ajax so if you click respond to video on my page you will see my um, uh, my light box that shows you the form um, to submit so if I just quickly put in some information here so if I just put in Chris Carrington and you guys will see all kinds of validations for this form and you can go to my validation tutorials to learn how to do validations but if you just say um, this is a really cool form you have here please show me how to submit this with Ajax so if you guys remember in the previous uh, form that we had over here, this form sucked because when you would type things in, it would take you to a whole other page and the user would have to go back and it would just be a useless page that nobody wants to see anyway. So what I did on this is instead of doing all that useless stuff, this form will submit with Ajax. So check it out. When you click submit um, comment, as you guys can see in the background right now, it says one and you have the one comment. But the second you click submit, that jumps to two, the new comment comes in, and now it says thank you for your comment. This is the kind of stuff you are going to learn in this tutorial. How to immediately submit forms with Ajax and the user never knows that you had to jump to another page. Just think Facebook, you know, every time you do a comment, they're not gonna jump you to another page and say, oh, thank you for commenting on this person's post. That would be horrible programming. So, um, what I want you guys to do so far for this tutorial, just to get everything set set up is I want you guys to make a very basic form or you can use the form that you're using it really doesn't matter but if you want to follow along with me make sure that your form is of a method post and that it has an action so as I said before your form has to already do stuff so your action would send you to wherever your form is going to capture that data so make sure it's of method post and it has an action. So it can be something that php.jsp, as you can see, I'm getting pointed to a servlet here. And then you must have all of your inputs need to have a name, 
So you see a name parameter here, or attribute, and you see an ID attribute. So make sure that all of your, if you have like 10 different um, input things, or if you just have one like me, make sure it has a name and it has an ID. That is very important. And then if you have any text areas like I do, make sure you have a name and you have an ID and make sure you have an input button as well so those are the the things that you must have in order to get with me in the next tutorial so make sure you guys create your form make sure it's of type post make sure it has an action so that it does something and make sure that all of your inputs have a name and ID a name and ID and make sure you have a submit so what we are going to learn in the next tutorial is how to make this form stop from going like this to hello world and take us to a new page that actually works but it takes us to a new page you see hello world in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to convert that into ajax so i hope you guys are excited for this tutorial series you guys are going to learn a whole bunch of ajax in this series and uh, thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next tutorial